Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. Today we're going to be talking about dividing decimals. And you guys have been dividing for quite a while now, so this, this isn't going to be that tricky for you. And you understand dividing. That line on the highway divides the highway into a couple of different sections. The longitude and latitude lines on a globe divide the Earth's surface up into sections. But what happens if you had a partial something and you wanted to divide it? Let's say you had a half a cookie and you had two friends that needed to share it. How much of the cookie would each friend get? Or if you had a half a pie and you had three friends and each one wanted a portion of that pie and you wanted to be fair, well, what portion of the total pie would those friends get? Well, we're going to work that one out. Okay, I've got a half a pie and I need to divide it into three pieces. Half a pie sliced into three pieces. That's the same thing as 0.5 pi divided by 3. Well, let's look at a pie chart and see if that helps us understand what's going on here. In this pie chart, that darker brown section is the portion of the pie that's already been eaten, and the lighter brown section is the portion of the pie that we've got left and that we're going to divide into thirds. Now, you can see on the portion we got left, we got three pieces. But you can also see on the portion that's already been eaten, there'd be three equal pieces. So there's a total of six pieces if we divide this pie up evenly. And each of our slices in the half that's remaining are going to be one-sixth of the whole pie. Now to do the math for this, it's, it's pretty easy. We divide half a pie by three. And the first thing we got to do is move our decimal point up to the answer line. And then we just divide. 3 goes into 5 one time, remainder of 2. And you know how to do that math, so I won't carry it out. But the answer is 0.16 repeating. 0.16 repeating. Each of these slices is 0.16 of the whole pie. And if we multiply the six pieces in the whole pie by the 0.16 or 0.166 repeating we get one or a whole pie. Well what happens when I divide a decimal by another decimal? The example here is 0.5 divided by 0.5. Well, let's look at it this way. 0.5 divided by 0.5, I could rewrite that as 0.5 divided by 1 half, because 0.5 equals 1 half. Then, I could change 0.5 divided by 1 half to 0.5 times 2, because dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So 0.5 times 2 equals 1. Half of 2 equals 1. So 0.5 divided by 0.5 equals 1. Now mathematically, here's how we do it. 0.5 divided by 0.5. First thing I do is move my decimal places. I gotta move this decimal place over to here so I've got a whole number here. And if I'm gonna move this decimal place I gotta move this decimal place. So I'm gonna move it over to there. And then I can rewrite this expression as 5 divided by 5 and 5 divided by 5 is 1. Now I don't know about you but this is a little confusing to me. If I take a number like 0.5 in the last problem and divide it by 0.5 I get a number that's bigger than what I started out with. 1 is bigger than 0.5. So if I divide a number by a fraction, I end up getting a number that's larger than the original number. I, I, that's confusing. Well, let's look at a problem, and maybe you'll see how it works. Let's say your school has a dance, 
sells tickets for 50 cents and sells $280.50 worth of tickets. How many tickets were sold? Well, let's do the math. I've got $280.50 worth of tickets that were sold at 50 cents a piece, so I've got to divide that 280.5 by 0.5, and the first thing I do is move my decimal place and then I got 5 into 2805.0. And after I multiply or divide that out, I get 561. 561 tickets were sold. Well, 561 tickets, that's a bigger number than 280. That's a bigger number than, than 0.5. So I divided and I got a bigger number. That, that seems weird. But if you think about it, it's not weird. Let's go back to the problem. The tickets were 50 cents a piece, and I sold $280.5 worth of tickets. Well, if the tickets were 50 cents a piece, and I sold one ticket, I'd have 50 cents. I have to sell two tickets to get up to a whole dollar. So to get up to two hundred and eighty dollars, I gotta sell more than two hundred and eighty worth two hundred and eighty tickets, I gotta sell twice that many or five hundred and sixty one tickets. Try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit your forward key. The problem was 2.6 divided by 4. So I set it up as a regular division problem. I got 2.6 divided by 4. And I take my decimal point and I move it straight up. Now 4 won't go into 2, so I got to go 4 into 26. And that will go 6 times. And 6 times 4 is 24. And I've got a remainder of 2. I bring down a 0. 4 goes into 20 five times, so the answer is 0 .65. 21.8 divided by 4.2. Well, I set up my division problem, and then the first thing I got to do is make my divisor a whole number. Right now it's 4.2. But I got to make it a whole number, and I can do that by moving the decimal place one to the right. If I move the decimal place of the divisor one to the right, I got to move the dividend decimal place one to the right. Now I got 42 into 218, and after you do the math, you come up with 5.19. You know what to do. Hit the pause button, do the problem and then hit the forward key. Alright, Tammy's t-shirts is having a sale. If you buy three t-shirts for nineteen fifty, you get the fourth t-shirt for free. What is the price per t-shirt? Well, let's see you CC this first. I've got three numbers in here to circle and that's a three a 1950 and a 4. Now that's a little bit confusing, but maybe it'll make more sense after we underline the question. What is the cost per t-shirt? Well, we've got a 3 in here, but that's not really relevant to the problem because what we want to find out is how much is each of the four t-shirts when we spend a total of 1950. So, how are we going to set that up? Well, we're going to divide 1950 by 4. And we got to remember that we have to move that decimal point straight up into the answer. And then we've got 4 goes into 19 four times. And we do that math and we end up with 4.87. $4.87 per t-shirt when you get 4. Try this one. Hit the pause button, do the math, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer.
You have 5.6 gigabytes available on your camera. Each new picture uses about 0.45 gigabytes. How many more pictures can you get on your camera? Well, we've got a total of 5.6 gigabytes available and we need to divide that by the size of each new picture which is 0.45 gigabytes. Now that we set the math problem up, we've got to move the decimal point on the divisor so that the divisor is a whole number. Then we got to come into the dividend and move the decimal point the same number of places we move the decimal on the divisor. And then it's a pretty simple math problem. 45 goes into 560 12.4 times. Well that's our lesson on dividing decimals and I hope you learned a bunch. Now it's time to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info and find the download for the worksheet Dividing Decimals. Print it, try it, see if you understand it. Then go back and find the quiz on downloading decimals and really test your skill there. Be sure to come back and see us again real soon. See ya!